my name is Gary's Grease of, of Gary. Of, my name's Gary's Grease of Gary's Grease. And you're listening to the PLA Losers of America prank phone call show. They support Gary's Grease. I, I hope. Right? Right, Brad? Hello, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show, episode 802. I'm your host, Brad, and this one is brought to you by Christine, I Rasputin the Tasteful, Cody No Name, Brown Magic, and Sean L. They all support the show over on Patreon, and that'd be nice if you did, too. You guys, I'm going to warn you ahead of time because I don't want you to be upset when you get to the end of the show, but I'm really, really, really sorry, but there's not going to be any voicemails on today's show. I'm running way behind on editing and I've got to be gone all day tomorrow or most of the day anyway, so I'm not going to have time to do it then. And it's midnight 30 right now. I'm just trying to hurry up and finish recording things. I mean, I did the pranks mostly earlier this afternoon, but yep, I'm just going to rush through this episode. So the pranks aren't rushed through exactly, but the intro and the lack of voicemail sure are. You may have noticed I didn't do a lot of shows last week after the beginning of the week. I remember I did like three shows in in three days or something, and then I just quit. What happened is I got obsessed with uh, Asterix, my phone system. And I started fixing things on that, trying to get everything to work. I eliminated some answering machines that weren't working. And then I got on eBay and I ordered more answering machines. And then I got on Amazon and I ordered some choose your own adventure books. And I read an entire story into the asterisk system. So you can now do a choose your own adventure with a touch tone phone. If that sounds like lots of fun, if you want to hear a children's book about owning your very own robot, you should call PLA's telephone network interface phone line thing where you can hack answering machines and do a few other small weird things there's a message board on there kind of and there is now a choose your own adventure book you should call it right now on your phone instead of listening to my show the number is 206-424-8422 if you want to try any of that stuff out oh yeah the intro music today was by john g that was called twigs and leaves i was also um last week besides blaming asterix for my lack of shows I was uh, working on my email. I was uh, mailing out stickers and coins and stuff. Ah, shit, that reminds me of something else. Damn it, this intro is getting too long. But I found a lot of um, music that you guys have sent to me. One of them was really old, and I think I apologize to that person. But my email, it always gets out of control, and I stop noticing stuff that you guys send. And every once in a while, I have to go through there and start answering emails and cleaning things up and finding things that you guys have sent to me. So thank you, John G., for that intro song. I'll play more stuff that I found on future shows. Uh, One last thing. I got an email today. Guess what is on the way from, uh, I don't know, China or something? The the PLA Vinyl album is being shipped, as in by a ship over the sea. It's going to take five to seven weeks for it to arrive in the United States because that was the cheapest shipping rate they had. But it looks like things are on track for the vinyl to get here by June, hopefully. I guess early June. So right now, as we speak, the vinyl records are being loaded onto a ship. Let's hope the ship doesn't sink. Keep the ship in your prayers, everybody. John Apartments, this is Nancy. How can I help you? Hey, Nancy. Uh, I'm a resident here at the apartments. Mm-hmm. And I live How up on the second floor, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, I went up into the attic space, you know, just right up there underneath the roof. Oh, yeah. And um, I painted up there. And I put carpet down. You can't and do that. What apartment are you in? What apartment number? Yeah. Oh, it's 21. What 
building. Oh God, I don't. It doesn't matter. I just, um, I just didn't know. Like, would the apartment reimburse me for that paint? Because I, I painted not, it. To, you're not allowed to go up in the attic access. Yeah, but I know how to get up there, and you're like, not allowed to go up there. Ma'am, it was really dirty up there, and there were mouse droppings. Yeah, and, and what? And, and spider webs, and uh, I just I cleaned it up and I painted it. It matches not only my apartment walls, but also my uh, china cabinet, which is very elegant. Okay, and what's your and that, name? And that's the reason why I painted the trim in the first place. This is Roy. Roy. Yeah. And, so, um, and what apartment are you in? Twenty one, and I I got carpet. What building? Uh, what building are you oh in? Oh God, I don't, it's like the first one as you come in. Is it thirteen? Is thirteen a building number? No. Oh. What's your address? Twenty eight <laughs> Avenue. But ma'am, it, it doesn't like. I just wondering, like, for anybody, would you? Reimburse them for the paint and the carpet, because I got carpet that matches in my apartment perfectly. Okay, are you in twenty seventeen twelve? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I'm I painted the trim of the attic. Uh, I painted that to match my china cabinet. What's your address again, ma'am? Are, are you even listening? I, to- excuse me, I'm trying to find out who you are. Yeah, but are you even listening to me? I painted the trim. I am, but I also the, have other people in the, the office the, that I have the, to be taking the, care the, of. The, the, the trim in the attic. I've painted it to match the china cabinet because I've got this Mason? really nice china cabinet. Is this uh, like Mason? Yeah. Is it what? Mason? Yeah. Why? What's your last name, Mason? Well, I go by Roy usually, so just, can you just call me Roy? Okay, I, I need to let you go if you can't I, tell me your address. What? You have my address there. You just said my name. I don't have... What is your last name? Well, I just go by Roy, R-O-Y, but you can call... Well, I, we I don't have I, anyone in here by Roy. I know, but I go by Mason. Like, legally, my name's Mason. I'm sorry, um, I don't know who you are, and I'm not sure what's going on, so I'm okay. just going to end this call right Ma'am, now. Ma'am, can you tell that kid in the background just to shut the fuck up while you're on the phone? She's she's back there blabbering. I knew she's going to hang up anyway, so whatever. So that was my goal. I wanted to get the, uh, the name of the person in that apartment, and uh, yeah, she told me his name is Mason. Thank you, ma'am, for helping me figure out who lives there. No, just kidding. She told me so many things, I don't even remember what was going on. She kept giving me building numbers and apartment numbers and... Point, this is Vanessa. She was a pleasure of speaking with. Hey, Vanessa. I'm a resident here. This is Roy. Hi, and how are you? Hi, pretty good. I just have a question about my apartment. Mm-hmm. Um, I live up on the third floor, so, you know, I have the roof right above me. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, there's like an attic space up there. I went up there and I painted it and I put carpet down that matches... The same as that's in the apartments. And, uh, you in know, the attic? I, yeah, up in the attic. It, it was gross up there. There was mouse droppings and spider webs and stuff. And just insulation oh. on the floor. Yeah, which apartment are you in? Um, t- t- uh, 21. And then what's the building? Um, well, it's the first one as you come in. I don't know. I, I get my mail to P.O. Box. Like... Is that something that the apartment would uh, reimburse me for? Is you know that paint and the carpet, and I painted the trim. Oh, uh, is is this for Point? Yeah, yeah, here on Hull Avenue. Okay. Um. And uh, you know, I like I I I I paint I painted the trim even up there in the attic. It matches my china cabinet now. Give me one second. Okay. Um, you said you're in apartment 21. Um, yeah. you're, you're not popping up in our system. The reason I'm asking is because we don't have access to attics. Oh, no, I made access. I put a hole up in the ceiling, just a square hole, and uh, I have to use a ladder to get up there. Okay, and you're in building 3900? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, I just, you know, I, I just, I painted the trim and, and the walls, and it looks just like the apartment, because I, I was feeling like, it didn't really feel like a luxury apartment with the attic looking like that, mm. and I'm not keeping anything in the attic, uh, just the carpet, and I painted everything, and I painted the trim. 
and okay. vacuum the, up all the spider webs and stuff. Okay. Um, I think you're. I think you're calling the wrong phone number. Really? Because does Point have another phone number over there on Southwest it- Avenue? Which number is that? I'll call that one. Okay. Which which number should I call? I didn't know there were multiple numbers here at the apartment complex. No, no, this is point here, and it's just we we don't we don't have access to um, attics, and you're you're not popping up in our system. Oh yeah, but I just told you I put a hole in the ceiling. It's like a a square hole. It's a sixteen inches by sixteen inches, and it looks nice. You know, I just have to push up the tile, and and then I can climb up there with my ladder. And now it's okay, carpeted. Yeah. It's carpeted um, up there, and uh, and the trim it matches my um, china cabinet. So I have a really nice china cabinet down here. Mm-hmm. And you're wanting to get reimbursed for it? Well, I'll just you know, just I thought it wouldn't hurt to ask. Just find out mm-hmm. if, you, if you guys might reimburse me for the paint. No, we 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 wouldn't reimburse you for that. Um, but what's what's the building number? Because your your name's not pulling up in our system. Oh, thirty nine hundred. I don't know if it'd be under my name. Wh- which okay, names? Who, who would? Which names it under? Who would it? Well, who whose name would it be under? Oh, I don't. It might be Eddie. Who knows? Eddie. Well, it, it doesn't matter. I don't need anyone to come over right now anyway, because. Uh, we have the microwave um, pointed at the door, and it's running constantly, 24-7. And I put a screwdriver in the safety hole. So, it, like, does if anyone has a pacemaker, that wouldn't be good. Um, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's I'm not trying to, trying to keep people's pacemakers out. I was mainly just trying to ward off bird attacks. So I keep, I keep a couple different microwaves running 24-7. Uh, pointed. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Well, um, if there's anything else I can help you with, just let us know. Well, I, I like what. What's the answer on that paint thing? Uh, we when we don't let anyone go into the uh, attic. Oh my God, ma'am! I'm I've been in the attic. I put a I know, hole in my ceiling. We, yeah, and we're not able. To, you you will actually probably get charged for putting the hole. I, I, well, no, it looks nice. I put trim around it, and I painted it all, and the trim matches my china cabinet on the hole around the ceiling. Uh, okay. I, I, uh, just, I, I just pop it out of there, and, you know, I can go up there with the ladder. Okay. Can I, can I put you on hold really quick? Okay, what are you doing? All right, give me one second. What are you doing? Hello, you're not saying anything. That was weird. I've been on hold for a while. They just came back to play music at me. Okay, they they came back on and hung up on me. Whatever. I don't know what this idea is about. I write stuff down in my notebook, and I don't remember writing this one down, but I liked the idea of painting my attic so that it matched my apartment and my very elegant china cabinet. Who knows where that came from? Because, you know, sometimes you just want to know that it looks nice up there. Even if you don't hang out in the attic. You don't want spider webs and bird droppings and a bunch of ugly insulation up there. Thank you for calling me. This is Megan. Hey, Megan. I'm I'm a resident here. Yes, sir. And um, I just have a question. Yes. Uh, I've been planting a lot of dandelion seeds. All over the uh, the complex. Uh huh. And someone told me I'm not allowed to do that, but I think they were just a resident. Dandelions. Um, yeah, I purchased. Is that just like little flowers or something? Or is it for what? Is it just like little flowers or something? Yeah, you know, dandelion flowers. Uh, they're they're weeds, but they're good for the earth. Oh. Daniel, let me look them up because I mean, typically, um, you know, because like the grass, it doesn't always mm-hmm. look super green, but th- this will just yeah. put flowers out there everywhere, like little bitty weedy flowers. Yeah, long as it's because I don't want a bunch of weeds out here because we are working on the 
the landscaping right now, but if it is like little flowers, that's okay. But yeah, if it's, um, yeah, I've been going behind where you guys have been working on the landscaping and just dropping lots yeah. of dandelion seeds into it all. So we're just going to have dandelion seeds, uh, you know, just little yellow mm-hmm. flowers and those ones you can pull up and like blow mm-hmm. on them and they're like cotton. Yeah. Is it just in like the grass area? That's where you're at them, like the green space, not like the mulch ba- mulch area or anything? Oh, but both the mulch area and the grass area, just everywhere. So we'll have them coming yeah. up in the mulch and and in the grass. Yeah. If you could not do it in the mulch, I guess I don't mind it in the grass. That's not an issue. Just make sure that you don't put it in the mulch area. Oh, I've already done it. So now if I don't do it in the other mulch areas, it's going to look stupid. So I, I think I have to... <laughs> Yeah, try not to. They're put. They're actually putting weed killer in the the mulch things anyway. So it should be okay. Ah, shoot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I I bought a lot of this stuff from a uh, uh, Amazon, like like a, a barrel full of it, and uh, I got to use up all the seed. I've just been throwing it all over all the complex, all the buildings. Yeah. Try not to throw them in, like, the mulch area. I don't mind if you put them on the grass area. That's totally fine because, I mean, I don't mind, you know, I, but, um, just make sure you do the mulch thing. I've even been throwing in people's flower pots. Like, we're just going to have dan- oh. dandelions everywhere. Yeah, that may not be a good idea. People might get upset about that. Yeah, well, that one lady was yelling at me today, but I don't think she worked here. <laughs> Uh, it was probably our groundskeeper. She keeps a good eye out on the complex. That's uh, probably what it was. Is she a total bitch by chance? No, I would never. Well, yeah, but is she man. like you don't you don't have to call her that? I just wondered if I is the same lady. No, she's not at all. But like I said, our groundskeeper's out in the mornings and she takes care of the property. So, um, can you tell her I've been I'm putting d- dandelions down? I'm sorry. Can you tell her I've been putting dandelions down? Uh. And and not to pull. Well, like I, I'm sorry. What? Uh, like I said, I mean, if you can, ju- I don't. I'll let her know that I don't mind as long as it's in the grass area. Just make sure that it's not in the mulch. It's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted the grass to be full of flowers, yellow and white flowers. And also, you know, yeah, you, can, no, you can eat you can eat dandelions. So people will just be able to go out there and. And grab a clump of them and eat them, like cook them up and eat them, or fry them. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's really cool. I mean, that's fine. Um, like I said, I don't mind as long as it's not in the mulch area. That's fine. Okay. Can I paint the mulch? No. Cause like, what if the the brown it doesn't match the trim of my china cabinet inside here? Who is this? It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. I'm about to say I was about to say is it a joke? Oh no, I wouldn't joke? I wouldn't kid about this. I'm very serious <laughs> serious about the dandelions. Yeah, no. Um but no, I mean like I said, I don't mind you adding the dandelions to like the grass area. Just make sure that you're not adding them to the mulch area. Um, okay. You and know as far as the mulch, yeah, don't don't paint the mulch or anything like okay. that because um I they're spent... actually putting new mulch out okay. this week. I was just gonna do spray paint, but I won't do that. And and like you know who I am, right? I'm the one that put the uh, the attic uh, access hatch in in my kitchen. The attic access in your kitchen? Yeah, yeah. I cut a hole in the the ceiling. I just didn't know if you realized who this was or not. No big deal. We we don't have to go over all that again. No, I don't know. Um, I'm not. No, I'm not familiar. What apartment? What? Well, well, this one. The the. Well, okay. Well, that's totally fine. Like I said, um, but try not to cut any more holes in your apartment. Okay. No, I won't. It was just that one because I wanted to get up in the attic and uh, paint. That's all. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't be doing that. Oh, no. I don't even go up there anymore. I just, I painted the walls and uh, I put carpet down up in the attic, but I don't have any furniture up there. I'm not like storing anything up there. I just didn't, you know, it seemed gross that it was all, you know, spider webs and insulation and you know just nails sticking out I, I just fancied it up up there in in all the space above my apartment so it matches the the paint and the carpet down here where i am or the hardwood floor i mean 
Yeah, no. You can't be in the um, attic access area. Okay. Oh, well, no, I don't really go up there anymore. Actually, I don't even have a ladder, so I, it's just the, the hatch is up there. And uh, if I did go up there, it would look nice. And, you know, the 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 walls would match my walls. And I painted the trim to match. Uh, it looks just like my china cabinet. It's like the, okay. the, the same yeah. the same tone of of uh you know like the the wood stain stuff. Yeah, so you can't really make alterations to your apartment for your lease. But this isn't in the apartment. It's more like in the attic, up there above the kitchen yeah. hatch. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be in the the attic. Access, okay, well I've already I, no, I did this like a year ago. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, well, that's fine. Um, but no, I mean, just know that it'll probably be charged on your your move out. Well, it's not even in the apartment, and it looks nicer. Like, who who wants to live below uh, an attic that's all gross and has insulation sticking out of it, out of the floor? Yeah, that's and, that's kind of the point of the the attic. <laughs> but um, okay, well, that's fine. Like I said, I don't mind Danny lines being um. Throw it out on the grass area. That's that's totally fine. Oh, I'm gonna go nuts now. I'm gonna get another barrel. Okay. Thank you so well, much for I'll the permission. See. Like I said, just for the the grass, not in the mulch. Okay. Yeah. No. Of course. No. no none in the mulch. All right. Got it. All, All right. right. We'll have a good one. You too. I love you. All right. Bye bye. Um, well, you know, you're supposed to say it back. I, I love you. You're making it weird. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Okay. You too. I love you. All right. Bye-bye. Well, you're not saying it back still. You're just you're making it kind of weird. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, my, my microwave, it's jammed open and I put a screwdriver in the safety hole. So I just leave it running okay. all, all the time in the kitchen. Who is this playing jokes? No, I'm not playing jokes. I just, I was... I didn't know why you weren't saying I love you. I thought it was pretty weird and like um I'll let you go now. I love you. Okay, bye-bye. You're not saying it. What's wrong with you? You're being mean. I am not being mean. Just say I, I love you too. You're just be like I love you too. Bye. All right. Well, we'll talk to you later. Please you... don't put a screwdriver in the, in the microwave, please. No, I put it in the safety hole. It's jammed in there, so it stays on all the time. Yeah, don't do not do that. No, I did it. Like it's, I'm not currently doing it. It's just in there. Okay. Well, make sure you take the screwdriver out. Well, um, yeah, when I move out, duh. I don't want to get charged. <laughs> well, just don't use the microwave with a screwdriver on, in it. Well, no, I don't even have to t- turn the microwave on anymore. I just kind of go up there and set my plate in it, and it's cooking already. Got it. And then All I, right. I have well, I, I set a timer with with my, uh, you know, I don't want to say it out loud because it'll set it off. But you know, I just do a timer with that and just pull, you know, just reach in there and pull it out. It's a little hot sometimes, but anyway, I love you. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Love you. No, don't. <laughs> Bye. You, you said Bye. it. You said it. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. It was starting to make sense to her. She couldn't help saying it. I've been scrolling through my giant page of ideas, and I don't really have any good apartment ideas in here right now. Nothing I want to do anyway. Nothing but this weird china cabinet idea that I think I'm going to erase now. So I'm going to move on to uh, not tenants from hell calls. Oh, wait, I did want to call this guy named Roger. He's looking for an apartment. I was doing a call earlier. They passed along this information to me. Roger. Yo. Hey, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, this is Roger. Oh, hey. Hey, it's Roy. I'm from the apartments. You still looking for a place? For who? From the apartments. Are you still looking for a place? Uh, we're, we're, we've got a place now, but. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to give you a cheaper place, but whatever. If you don't want our place. <laughs> a cheaper place? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's above, um, Chad's apartment. It's kind of, it's basically in the crawl space. 
Like he crawled up there and he painted it and put carpet down. Uh, I know I said I didn't need your car anymore, but you couldn't have it anyway. Yeah. So sorry. Oh, uh, no, I guess we don't need it. Wait, it doesn't agree with my card. Wait, wait, I think I who, who's that lady talking? The teller here at the bank. Oh, ma'am, at the bank? Why don't you just shut the fuck up? He's on the phone. <laughs> Did she hear uh, that? No, she didn't. Nah, darn it. Tell me when she comes on again. I want to no. make her angry. No, no, no. Well, Are, is she going to come back? Are you still doing something? Uh, no. We're done. Ah, shit. Can you go to a, um, I don't know, go to a, like a fast food drive through or something? <laughs> That's all right, man. Come on. Well, thanks for the offer. You have a nice day. You don't want to live above Chad's apartment? <laughs> Darn it, I wish I would have known what was going on when she was talking. I would have yelled at her quicker, so maybe she would have heard me. Hopefully she did hear me, though. I know some of those things don't shut off at all, but I guess it just depends on the bank. Hey, I'm a customer. I'm in your back room right now. There's no bathroom back here? Uh, you want to come up front? The bathroom's there at the front door, sir. Okay, well, no, I, I found this room that's full of the, the breaker boxes the, with all the electric switches in them. Yeah, you want to come back here. I want to flip these switches. Like, do, do they still work, or is this, like, old tech that they just never took out of here? Those, those work. Let me see. I'm going to just hit these ten. Did, did did that turn off any registers? Nope. Oh, because that one said register three. Which which That's register right. are you on? Okay. Hello? Hello. Uh, which register are you on? I'm going to go deal with somebody in the back. What? Deal with What's so up? What are you talking about? What do you mean deal with me? Hello? Is there anybody there? Hello? I hear you breathing. I hear you breathing, but you're not talking to me. That's weird. Hello? I think he may have had a cordless phone and he was walking to the back room. Maybe. I don't know. I just heard him say he was going to go in the back room and deal with me. And I felt like I was going to get my ass kicked. I was trying to think of other places where I could do the old switch flipping calls. And last week, I think it was on Dragon Mirror's show, they were calling up some chain of grocery stores. And I did a couple of calls on his show, not this past Friday, but the Friday before. So it would have been April 7th, I think. And I did a few breaker calls. Some other people did a few breaker calls. And there was poop involved. I think it was just like in the last hour of the show, if anyone wants to go listen to that. But I wonder if Target, would they believe me? I've been calling up uh, schnooks, and they, they just don't care. They just, they're like, whatever. Target. Hey, I'm a customer. This is Brad. Okay. Um, hi. I'm, I'm, hi. I'm in your back room. I was looking for the bathroom, but I never did find it. But I found these uh, breaker boxes, you know, yeah. the electrical boxes that you can flip the switches in. Do these, uh-huh. do these things still work? The breaker boxes? Y- yeah, like if I... If I because I was trying to flip switches, the ones that said to turn off the power back here, and they wouldn't work. Like, did, did, I, did I make any lights flash up there? Um, I didn't see anything. Oh. Are, are you in, um, like, the customer service up front? Yeah, I'm in guest services. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this <laughs> row of switches. I think this is going to shut off the register up there. Hold on. Okay. Did that did that did that do anything? Uh, not that I can see. Are you sure these I can see you switches hear. work? For I'm not positive. Let me get you um the team lead back there. So for you're in the yeah. Yep, I'm in the back room. I'm just like exploring at this point because there's nobody back okay. here, and uh, I'm okay. just trying to. Can I try all the breakers? I don't want to shut off what, all the lights or anything. I was just trying to see. If, here, just, let me let me let you talk to Riley. Okay. What are they looking for? Well, hello. Hey, I'm sorry. What can I help you with? Oh, is this some kind of a manager? This is speaking. Oh, great. 
No, I'm in the back room. I was trying to find the bathroom, but it's not back here. And uh, I found these breaker boxes, and I'm hitting switches, and they're they're not shutting off anything. It's like, are these even used anymore, or did they upgrade to like the internet breakers? Where about in the back room are you? By the breaker boxes, they, like these big panels of switches, and and those right there were labeled self checkout. Do you even have self self checkout here? We do, we do, yes. Okay. Um, so, are you able so to see? Currently, did self checkout just turn off? Uh, self checkout, like lights or the machines themselves? Uh, both. Uh, I, no, they did not. Uh, these are just labeled poorly or something, right? Um, which breaker box are you at? Because I'm thinking about three in the back room. Are you up at the one high over by the freezer cooler? Yeah. Or well, by the free, I'm not sure because. Uh, I climbed up on top of the shelves, like the very top shelves, and I was just walking up along there. But then I saw the breaker boxes, so I came down here. Okay. Um, here, what back room aisle are you in? I I don't know. I've I've been all over the place. I'm just gonna keep hitting these, cause like you'd think some of the lights would turn off back here. Yeah, no, I'm but, not seeing anything throughout the store. Huh. Why don't these breakers work? I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm not all too sure. I can try our PMO left for the day. Did you check in with him? Oh here's this this whole breaker box is labeled the computer stuff. Up on top. It's it says the computer stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna a little you. strange because none of my computers over here at self checkout has shut off. Is there anywhere in the back room I can meet you? Hold on, I'm just I'm just, I'm just now hitting on the computer ones. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, anything? You, you still have no, registers? Re registers are still good. Yes, sir. All right, let me try these others. And are you trying to shut them off, like, right now, for... Yeah, yeah I just want to shut down the registers. So so we can't shut them down right now, because we're open. Yeah, no, I'd like, but these breaker switches would shut them down, right? If they were labeled properly. This, like, it almost seems like a fire hazard that they're not labeled properly. Okay, is there somewhere I can meet you back there? Uh, at the breaker boxes. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be hitting switches. Okay, and so when you went in our back room, what door did you go in? Uh, you know where the freezer is? Yes, sir. Uh, it's, I think it was there, but then I jumped up on some shelves, and I was just walking along the shelves. Uh, you know, there's merchandise up here, like, stacked up on top of the shelves. Okay, um, I'm gonna come back there and try and find you, okay? Okay, well, do you know, um, ha whoa, oh, oh god, what, what is that? What's that noise, sir? What, sir? Hello? What is that? Well, this is just not as much fun as it is when you call from a hotel. They freak the fuck out when you're at a hotel. But at Target and Schnooks and Dollar General, they just don't care that much. Schnooks, how may I help you? Hello, I'm a customer. I'm, I'm in your back room, you know? I, I was trying to find the bathroom. I guess there's not a bathroom back here. Well, there's not a bathroom back there. Oh, calm down. All the bathrooms I, are up front. Okay, well, I was trying to hit these breaker switches because there's a bunch of these uh, big panels of switches back here. And, like, do, do these even work still? Or are these just, like, antiques? Ma'am? What are you talking about? The, the breaker boxes, you know, the fuse boxes for the store? There's a bunch of them back here. Why would you be in my break room? Or the, my back room. Not, not the break room, house. the breaker box area. I know, but why, well, if you're, a, if you're, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. You're are, a customer, correct? Are, yeah, are you up front? I am. Okay. If you're, if you're one of my customers, why would you be I in just, my very back room? Because I was looking for the bathroom. Okay, well, I, I, I would really appreciate it if you would just well, come to the front. I just want to try these switches, though. I, I. Oh. No. I'm just going to hit a come few... Come to my front, please. These are labeled like... Come to my front, please, and come out of my back room. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right... And I will, I will show you where the restrooms I'll, are, okay? I'll, I'll be right there. Please just, stop uh, messing with the switches I, that I'm hearing you mess I, with. No, I'm not hitting any switches. And come to my front, please. I'm not, I'm not hitting any switches. Okay, I'm, just come like, to my front, and I will show you where the restrooms oh, are, okay? No, I, I'm fine about the Thank restrooms. You. I'm not even in a big hurry. I, I just... 
I'm going to hit these I know, but switches. please just come, come from out of the back. Ma'am! And just come. Did, did I shut off yeah. any registers? These were labeled registers. The ones I just hit? Please stop. No, I mean, did, did your register still work? Ma'am? My registers are fine. Oh, I keep hearing beeping still. Like they still. Okay, hold on. Let me yeah, try these. Goodbye. Let me try these. Well, she was at least super annoyed with me for hitting the buttons, but I don't know. It's still nothing like the hotel calls. You guys need to give me some ideas of other places. I know. Bowling alleys. Let's call bowling alleys. Oh, wait. It's a little early. It might be too early for bowling alleys to, to be opened. Let me go all the way over to the East Coast. It's a great day. Special. I'm just James speaking. How might I assist you? Hey, it's Brad. I'm a customer. I'm I'm in the uh, the bowling alley right now. Uh-huh. And I don't know like where this is exactly. I'm where all these breaker boxes are in the back room, I think. Okay. I, I've been trying to hit switches to see if it shuts off any power, but I don't think it is. Can you tell me if um, I... Um, you got Brad on the phone. He's back like, there in the breaker box there trying to shut power off or something. He don't know he's back there doing. But he, he works here, I think. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, hi. I I just... I was trying to ask her if, I, if I'm blinking any lights because I'm in the breaker box room. I was just trying to see if I could blink lights or, or like, uh, shut down the mechanical. Like uh, what? Oh, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here, let me st- let me start flipping switches. I'm in the back room. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Did did, did that turn anything off? Nothing at the front. You may check like the game zone or something. Oh well, can you see the game zone from there? If you give me a second, I can check. Hang on. Are there a lot of people in there? Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's not too many. There's a decent amount, but not a lot. Oh, nice. But if I shut off the games, do you have to give them all refunds? Uh, I mean, if they're playing it, yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and flip all of these switches and watch. The, we'll, we'll see if the games turn off. Okay. There, anything? Nothing. Let me let me go look. If you give me a second, I can go look. Okay. And by the way, <laughs> my name is Brad. I'm just a customer. I'm sh- I probably shouldn't be back here. See, now I'm confused. <laughs> but why? Well, why why are you at the breaker? You're not at our breakers because there's nothing on, or nothing off. Nothing. Well, no, I I turned them back on. Are you in the breaker well, room? They, no, I just there's nothing. They wouldn't turn on that fast. <laughs> they wouldn't turn on that fast. Yeah, they take a minute to boot up. I would see you turn them off and turn them back on. Oh, well, here, l- let me just hit a few more of these. Like, this should shut off the games. Yeah, I see nothing turned off, man. I don't, I don't think you're back there. That's weird. Well, I'm I'm at 8 road. Uh, yeah, the games are on. Nothing's, nothing's, I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, that's weird. I'm going to just keep hitting switches back here. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, well, you said <laughs> they're not even doing anything, but there's still... There's still still more boxes to hit switches on. But why are you hitting the switches? I don't, I don't understand why you're back there. I just wanted to see how it all worked, and I wanted to see if I could shut off some stuff. Probably shouldn't I've, do that. I've never had this many switches before. Maybe you should just leave the room. Why? Because you don't need to touch the breakers. Well, I'm I'm just playing around. It's not a big deal. I'm just I'm here to have fun, like everybody else. I mean, it is a big deal. You can have fun in the games. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna try and shut off the games. I'm gonna come back there. No, don't come back right here. Now. Why? No, don't. No, there. There's no reason to come back here. No, just. Uh, I, I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna come back. There. Am I gonna get in trouble if I'm smoking weed? <laughs> what is going on? I'm just asking. Like, I don't think it smells that bad back here, but I did have a few puffs. All right, listen. I'm hanging up. I'm coming up. I'm coming back there. Don't come back here. I'm, I'm not coming back there. Right I'm now. not sharing my weed with you, sir. <laughs> what is going on? Not a hint of anger from the bowling alley people. It's so weird. I've, I've done quite a few of these. They're all the same. They don't care. And they can run to the back room pretty quickly in a bowling alley. You know, you call up a target or whatever, and they've got quite a ways to go to get back there, usually. Hi, I'm Richard Peckle. This is Elizabeth. How can I help you? Hey, ma'am. Uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your back room right now. And uh, so I guess there's, okay. no, there's no bathroom back here, right? No, sir. Okay. Keep our overstock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of stuff back here. And I found, like, the breaker boxes. Can I hit some of these switches? Like, they just work like light switches, right? But they're sideways? 
Uh, I'm not too sure. They're very often. Have you touched anything? Uh, well, I was going to hit these. Like, um, th these are labeled registers. Like, tell me if any registers turn off. Did, did any is anything happening? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. Oh, um, yeah. hmm. Well, these, these must be mislabeled. So why are you back uh, there? Uh, well, originally I was looking for the bathroom, but now I'm just playing with the breaker switches. Uh, please don't do that. It, well, no, they don't. They don't even seem to be doing anything. Like, are, are these just mislabeled? Please don't touch anything like, in the back. Okay, well, Only do, employees are allowed in that area. Well, no, I've, I'm already back here, but like I've already hit several switches. Here, let me turn these back on. Did, like, did it, did any lights? Are any are any lights blinking up there? Not really, no. Um, but that area is for employees what only. The heck? You leave it as soon as you can. Okay, I'm gonna hit every switch. I'm just gonna turn every switch off and then right back on. Okay. And she hangs up. I give up. There's nobody else you can call with breaker boxes except for hotels. I wonder how easy it is for them to get to the breaker box room from a gym. Probably not that hard. But hey, look at this. It's a hotel in the same area as that Petco I just called. Let's just do some hotels. Good evening. Thank you for calling Hyatt. Hi. Uh, I'm a guest here. I'm up on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, like, I'm in the, I, I guess this is the... The electric electrical room, it's got all mm -hmm. the bra breaker boxes in it. And do you know which switch in here would shut off my room for the night? I'm sorry? Do, do you know which switch in this breaker box room would shut off my room up here? Uh, no, sorry. You, uh, guests aren't allowed in there, sweetheart. Oh, no, it was unlocked. And I've been trying switches, but so far I've just shut off right, other, as, other as, people's rooms. As far as guests, sweetheart, I can't have you in there. It's for safety purposes for yourself and other guests. Oh, I'm wearing rubber gloves, and, and I have rubber-soled shoes on. But as a guest, sweetheart, I can't have you in the electrical room. Okay. Well, do, do you know which switch would turn off my room, though? Or, or uh, is that... we, can't, we can't turn off your room, sweetheart. Is there an issue going on? Oh, no. I just need the power completely off for the entire night. All right, so I, I'll have to see if I have a maintenance man on staff, sweetheart, but I can't have you in there just for safety purposes. Okay. Um, I'll be out in, in a jiffy. I'm just, I'm going to keep trying some more. I, I so can't have you in there, sweetheart. I can't have you messing with anything in, the, in there. Okay, well, I, I just, like, I, it's just process of elimination. Eventually, I'm going to figure out which one's my room, because there's not that many on the fourth floor. But I, I don't know but if this. Sir, it, it, I, I can't have you messing with the switches. It could mess up something in the hotel. What's your room number? Oh, hold on. I I'm, can try to send. I can try to send maintenance, sweetheart. I need you I'm, to stop flipping switches, please. Okay. Well, no. I'm. I'm just gonna try. And, I'm gonna go and see if uh, one of those just turned off my room. I, I just want my room to be off for the entire night. That's that's all. I, understandable like, sweetheart that's why i said i need your room number so i can try to send maintenance but i need you oh, please uh, get from out of the out of the maintenance room i think my room number like are they three digits i think it'd be 417 because i'm on the fourth floor what's your last name why i i need it to verify in my system oh there. i thought you could just look up by the room number Sir, please stop switching the switches in the electrical room. Well, I had to turn some of them back on. Because I, I can tell I like went out the door and I looked and I, my, I, I have my door propped open. And I, I looked and I could see that the light was still on in there. Is this Mr. Johnson? Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, I'm going to send someone up, sweetheart, but I can't have you in there. Because if, oh. if my manager and everyone finds out, they're going to put you out of the hotel, sweetie. Okay, well, no, I just need the power off for the entire night. Like, Understandable. All the power, I'm all the fine. lights. Can I, can I just take out all the light bulbs of my room? You know, in, in my room, can I take out all the light bulbs and bring them down to the front desk? No, sir. Okay. All right. Did you need assistance with anything? I'm going to try to send someone up, okay? Oh, you don't really have to send anybody up. Uh, I'm doing good. I don't even need anybody in my room. Well, no, they're going to come up to the um, 
well, I don't, I don't want and anyone. check the breaker boxes. Well, we have to check the breaker boxes. Since I did hear you messing with them, I have to make mm. sure everything is good with everybody on the fourth floor. Okay. Well, no, nobody's coming out in the hallway yet. They're not. They're not going to, sweetheart. Oh well, no, they did before because I turned off their power and they heard me in here and they're like, "Hey, what are you doing in here?" And I, I just said I worked for the hotel and they left me alone. Ma'am. All right, I'm going to send someone up now, sweetheart. I'm going to need you to go back to your room, okay? Oh, uh, well, just tell them to come to the electrical room, and they, maybe they can help me uh, you know, just sort all this out. Okay. All right, sir. I'll, I'll have someone up shortly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to continue. Uh, uh, Please yeah, I'll, just, I'll be waiting here. I really need to re-record my switch flipping stuff because I I know I mentioned this on Dragon Mirror's show a couple weeks ago but I don't know if I mentioned it on my show uh, but that's the uh, exact same flipping noises that we hear in the Flip All the Switches song by Redbox and the Chili Peppers and I purposely made them sound like industrial like really serious switches but that's not how most breaker boxes are most of them are just you know simple sounding clicks That'd be enough to convince them I'm flipping everything. I should make several different versions of it. Like one where I'm flipping them off and back on again. And then one where I'm turning them off, one where I'm turning them on. I need to get my recording device and go fuck with my breaker box in the basement. Try and see which one's my room. And that lady told me my name in 417. It's Mr. Johnson. Oh shit. That means I can call back later and, and pretend to be the front desk, right? I'm going to write this down. Send Sam Eric is Tyler speaking. Hey, I'm I'm a guest here. Uh, I'm up in my room. Uh, okay. And uh, well, I mean, not in my room. I'm in the electrical room, like the breaker box room. And I'm trying to figure okay. out which 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 one of these switches goes to my room. You, you know, Why like you... I, I just want to shut off the power to my room. Why do you want to shut off the power to your room? Uh, well, just for the night, like for the uh, for the entire night, I don't want any of uh, the plugs to work and none of the light bulbs. <laughs> I, um, well, um, I would advise to say no. Um, are you ITM or anything? Are you doing maintenance? Oh no, no, I'm just a customer. Uh, I, okay, no, I'm, uh-uh. but sir, I, I'm just I'm, sir, I'm doing mushrooms tonight, and I don't want any distractions. Oh, sir. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, I am. I'm definitely going to do that. But I don't want I don't want any lights on. I don't want to be able to turn on the television. Cuz you know how that is when you're using mushrooms. No, I don't. So, well, you're going to have to well, You know, you know what I mean. Turn. What? You're just going to have to most definitely just write it out and turn off the TV. We can't just turn the breaker Can off. Can I bring my light do bulbs down to the front desk? I'm going to hang up the phone now. No, don't okay. hang up. Like, the, my light bulbs and all the light bulbs from the hallway. Don't touch the breaker room. Have a great no, one. No, I'm in the breaker room. See, the breaker these room. are the switches. Ah, okay. I wrote down Mr. Johnson at this hotel. I'm definitely going to call him back later tonight or... Uh, tonight, I don't know, like, uh, you know, a little bit later tonight, it's going to be the Milk Box show on prankcast.com. He does a live show on Mondays. Maybe I'll get him to call it, and hopefully that lady will be gone. Thank you for calling True by Hilton. How may I help you? Hello, um, I'm a guest here, uh, and I'm, I'm up in my room already. I was just wondering, is there a way to shut off the power to my room, like, for the rest of the evening? The power? Um, yeah, just all would... the lights, all the electrical outlets... I was thinking I could just open them up and disconnect the wires. Is that okay? Um, I don't see why not. I would have to get back to you about turning off the power to your room individually, because um, I actually have no idea. Okay. I would have to contact my manager. Well, I'll just. Um, but I'll cu- I'll what's cu- the room number? Uh, four twenty-five. Yeah, four twenty-five. Okay. Okay. I'll get back and, to you about turning the power off. Oh no! I'll, I'll just like you said. I could just uh, open up the uh, the 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 plugs and the the switches and stuff, and just snip the wires. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, I'll just get in there with with uh, wire cutters. And do you have wire cutters up there at the front desk? Um, I do not know. Okay, I'll use uh, toenail clippers. I do have those. Okay. Although I feel like I'm going to get an electrical shock if I. Because, you know, there's no there's no rubber grips on toenail clippers. Yeah, um, 
Here, just okay, give I'll... me about five minutes. Let me contact my manager about this. Oh, okay, well, where is he at? Is he in the hotel still? They, they are not. I'll have to give him a call. Okay. Are you going to call me back at this number? Um, you said you were in 425, right? Yeah, but I, I already uh, disconnected the phone and put it in the closet. Okay. Yes, I can call you back at this number. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Goodbye. Bye. All right, maybe I'll get a call back from that. I can't believe he's giving me permission to open up my electrical outlets and stuff and just snip wires. Hopefully he asks his manager about that, and his manager is like, what the fuck? Are you an idiot? Don't tell customers to do that. Aloha, Hyatt Operator. May I help you? Hi, uh, I'm a guest here. I'm up on the fourth floor. Yes? And um, I found the electrical room. It's just this room that's full of breaker boxes. And um, I was just wondering, does that control only the fourth floor? That, I don't know. Let me connect you with security. They may not. Oh, no, no. I don't need security. Or do I? Hello, hi, security. Mark, come help you. Oh, she Uh, transferred me to you, but I don't want to tell you. What? (laughs) What? What's going on? How can I help you? What what the fuck is all that radio noise? Oh, no, that's my radio. This is security office. Yeah, well, turn your fucking radio down so I can hear you. Oh, it's uh, going on once again. Hold on once again. Jesus. Learn how to use the phone, sir. How can I help you? Um, well, I didn't really want to be transferred to you. She insisted oh. on transferring me, but I don't want to tell you what I was doing because I'll probably get okay, in trouble. So how can I help you? Okay. Uh, we should just probably hang so up. What did you need? Oh, no, okay. I don't, I don't want you. any trouble. Not on this trip. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, sir, sorry. I have too many drugs okay, in this room. Bye. Okay, whatever. I love, okay. I love you. Bye. I love you. Aloha, thanks for calling Sharky. Vicky speaking. Hello, uh, I'm a guest here. Um, I have a question. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm in this room. It's labeled the electrical room, and there's a bunch of breaker boxes inside, and I've been flipping switches. Sir? What? Do you need security? No. No, I'm up on my floor. It's just down the hall from me. I'm trying to figure out which one would belong to my room number. I don't know. Would you like security? Why would security know that? Like, they, like can, can they look up? Why, uh, well, I'm an operator. I don't know that. Well, are you at the front desk? No. Where are you? I just said this is the operator. Like, I know what the fucking operator is, but... Uh, what? What? Security, this is only speaking. Hey. I don't really want to talk to security. Uh, I got transferred by the operator. What the fuck is an okay. operator? Because when I hear operator, I think, you know telephone company back in the 1990s well we still need operators to find out where the calls can go to yeah okay i don't know why you just wouldn't get like an automated switchboard she was a total bitch she she said she's not even in the hotel uh i apologize for that how may i help you oh i don't want anything i mean she wanted me to tell you what i was doing uh but i don't want to get in trouble so i should probably just let you go are you a hotel guest? Am I a what? Hey, was that a slur? Are you a hotel guest? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm up. I'm up here in my room. Okay. You don't need anything at this moment. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want anyone coming up here. I have way too many drugs in my room. Well, good to know. Okay, so don't be... You uh, wouldn't want to give me your room number by any chance. Yeah, right. I may be on drugs, but I ain't stupid. (laughs) All right. What's that that fan noise in the background? Have you got like an old laptop running Windows XP? I'm recording this conversation. (laughs) With a tape recorder? Yes, sir. Seriously? Like with a reel-to-reel tape recorder? Yes. Nuh-uh. How may I help you? Wouldn't the calls be recorded like like on a computer or something in the background where I don't have to hear the fan whir up? Is there anything I can help you with? Is it, the security department. It sounds like you're sharpening a pencil. 
Like with an electric pencil sharpener? Well, maybe I am. Well, stop. You're on the phone, idiot. Are you calling me an idiot? Yes. If you if you expect me to believe that that noise is your phone call recording device making that much noise, like, turn it off real quick, then I'll believe you. Sir, sir, if there's nothing I can help you, I am going to hang up. Oh, good. Good, because you're totally ruining my high. Have a good night. I love you. I don't know why I'm getting transferred to security all of a sudden. I guess I am calling a little bit later than I was before. But come on. Aloha, thank you for calling Embassy Suite. My name is Eric. Can I assist you? Oh, my goodness. Is this the front desk? This is the front desk. Oh, thank God. Thank God you answered. I, I'm a guest hey. here. I'm, I'm on the, the fourth floor. Yes. And I'm in the electrical panel room with all the breakers. Okay, how come? Because uh, I want to figure out which one like, would shut off the lights in my neighbor's room. Because his TV is so loud. Um, I think he's in 421. And uh, what, which room you are from? I'm next door to him. Okay. Um, where, so you're in the electrical room right now? Yes, I've been hitting switches. Uh, and like, I can hear his TV from here. So I'm just, I'm, I'm hitting random switches. Like an oh, all, oh all, please all, don't do that, yeah? Oh, no, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to hit switches until I hear his TV go off. Okay, just a moment. Um, Here, let me, while I'm waiting, okay, I'll, I'll hit um, more switches. Don't, uh, please don't touch anything on the fourth floor. What, what do you mean um, don't touch anything on the fourth floor? I, will, I can send someone to assist you and I can ask someone to maybe um, give them a... Can I touch my... Courtesy call. My door to go in my room? Please do not touch the... Don't touch okay, the what? Just a moment. Don't touch the what? Hello? Hi, sir. You can just go back to the room first. I can have someone to assist you on that, but... um. Oh, hold on. I still hear his TV. His loud TV. Oh, that, that did it. That shut it off. Okay, so now I'm going to turn all these other switches back on. Except for that last one I just hit. You know, so everyone else has their power back. And so what is your room number? Uh, well, his is 421. My gosh, his TV was loud. I'm almost done. Okay, just a moment. Where, where are you doing? Where are you going? And hi, sir. What's your location right now? Um, I'm just finishing up these breaker switches. It just about done. I accidentally turned his TV back on, believe it or not. I'm such a dummy. Ugh. I tell you. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Hi, hello. Hello. What are you doing? Hi, what? hello. Can you hear me? Yes, what's going on? Hi, we're just wandering over here, so... Um, You're wondering? What is your room number? Oh, uh, I don't want to say that. Because I, I have a lot of drugs in my room, ma'am. Ma'am? Just a moment. Why? What's going on? Hello? 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 Who's this? This is Security Officer Rivers. How can uh, I are you kidding? Security again? Sir? Yeah? I don't really need anything. The front desk people just keep transferring me, and I don't know what's going on. I'm not... You didn't get transferred. I walked up to the front desk and picked up the phone. Oh, that's even weirder. Hey, um, we're not going to do... He said that... We're not going to... What? He said that there was something on the... With the fourth floor and circuit breakers? Oh, yeah. I was, I was hitting breaker switches. And the you are a Well, I was just trying yes? to figure out which one. 
look, I don't want to be explaining all this because uh, I just need to get back to my room. But um, the sponsors for today's show are Christine, I Rasputin the Tasteful, Cody No Name, Brown Magic, and Sean L. We're going to be uh, skipping the voicemail section tonight, okay? So uh, no voicemails. I'm, I'm confusing. I'm confused. What's uh, going on? Oh, we're just we're, we're ending the show now. Um, you have like maybe a favorite song or I don't know, something you want me to put on the end of the show? Sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have an issue or are you just going to your room? Because first oh, yeah, of I'm, all... I'm just going to go to my like, room. Ri- what? So you're here at the hotel on our fourth floor hitting circuits? Yeah, these these little breaker switches, like in, in the breaker room. Those things. Why are you in the breaker room? Well, I was trying to figure out which one goes to my room. But sir, I have drugs. Oh, so you're you're pressing you're pressing the elevator buttons, trying to get up to the correct floor. <laughs> no, what the heck? I'm not that dumb. Uh, no, I'm in this I'm in this room. It's labeled electrical room. Why? Because C- there's the, all the breaker boxes are inside of it. That's, you're not supposed to, Are you messing with me right now? No. No, but the show's over. Uh, we went over the sponsors, and we're skipping voicemails today. I have no explanation for why. I'm just not going to do voicemails. Well, basically because it's so late at night now, and I really need to get my show edited right, so and posted. What's your name and room number? Um, oh, I'm not going to tell that. There is so many drugs in my room. Sir, what did we learn on our show tonight? Like, how, how would you say we're both better people? After today's events, I think we've <laughs> why would he think I'm messing with him? Okay, like I said, uh, it's late at night. No voicemails. I need to hurry up and see if I can get this put out tonight. Uh, what is it? Today, today's Monday, and I'm starting to have my doubts. So this might come out Tuesday morning instead. But thank you for listening, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. I swear I'm going to stop doing breaker calls for a while after this show. I've done so many breaker calls lately. Uh, All of my promises from earlier, I am officially breaking them. Because uh, you you might remember where that guy was supposed to call me back. I can't remember if that was a hotel guy or an apartment guy. I'm not sure. But he was supposed to call me back and he didn't. That was hours ago. And then the other thing that was really awesome was uh, Mr. Johnson, which I wrote down right here on the back of an envelope. And I re-listened to the call when I was editing, you know, to make sure it was Mr. Johnson in 417. That's what the lady accidentally told me. Here, let's try it again and see what happens. Because she was very rude. Like, I, I feel like maybe she just put the word out. Thank you for calling Hyatt Place. You are being transferred to the operator. Thanks for calling Hyatt Place. Can I help you? Hello, could I please have room 417? Hello? See? See? I told you. They've been warned. Don't transfer anyone to Mr. Johnson's room. I wonder if that's the same lady. Like, is she working a double or something? I forget what the original lady sounded like. Captain's personal log. I'm entering the ship's holodeck where images of reality can be created by our computer. People that I created in the room are more real to me. I meet out here.